Welcome back to my retro gaming room in VR using MUVR Beta. Links in the description below if you want to know more about it. This is basic tutorial part 2. How to customize posters, bedspread, pillow, wallpaper, ceiling, and floor. If you want to know how to add games, watch my part 1 video. Links also in the description below. Let's start with adding some posters. Using File Explorer, go to where your MUVR folder is located, then open Custom, Posters, and then Examples. Copy all 31 of the example poster images, including the two samples. Go back to the Posters folder and paste them all there. Now let's start up MUVR and see what's changed. Now all the example posters are up on the wall in their respective places. You get 31 posters varying in size and orientation to make your own by using PNG image files. The aspect ratio is written on each of the posters for you to match if you want to prevent stretching. Mainly just worry about your custom image matching portrait or landscape and you should be fine. Back in the MUVR folder, open Custom and then Posters. Let's add four posters at once. We're going to use the two sample posters and two custom posters I found online. We'll be replacing example posters 1, 3, 11, and 15 with our own. So delete example posters 1, 3, 11, and 15. Don't worry. You still have backup copies in the examples folder if you ever want to reset. Now place your images in the posters folder and rename each of them 1, 3, 11, or 15, taking the place of the example posters that were just deleted. And that's it. Let's go take a look. Now those four posters are in the room. The two custom posters are above the bed. And the two sample posters are on the closet. Repeat these steps and you'll have a bunch of great posters on your wall in no time. Time to change the bedspread. Go to the MUVR folder and open Custom, Miscellaneous, and then Examples. Copy bed underscore sheet PNG image file and bed underscore sheet text document and paste the copies in the Miscellaneous folder. Replace the bed underscore sheet PNG image file with one of your own taking its name just like we did when we added custom posters. Make sure your image file name says bed underscore sheet exactly. If you want to change the tiling pattern or the image offset, open the text document and change the number values as some adjustments may be needed. Don't neglect to play with this feature as it really makes a difference. And that's it. Let's go take a look. As you can see, it worked but it doesn't look very good. This is an awesome image of an actual 80's wrestling blanket and it can still look good. Let me show you how. Back in the good old MUVR folder, go to custom, miscellaneous, and open the bed underscore sheet text file using notepad. Change both tiling X and Y to 1 instead of 3. Remember to save and then close the document. Now let's see if that fixed our blanket. A massive improvement I would say. Look at all those legendary wrestlers. These guys were my heroes growing up. Big enough brother, there ain't gonna be room in the world. Should I lay on the lot and let him run over me with lawnmowers? 
Should I go to Africa and let it trouble me with rape fuel loaded with the worst? Exit stage. They can't be reaped. The power of the warrior will always prevail. Customizing the pillow is the same method as the bedspread. In the MU folder, open Custom, Miscellaneous, and then Examples. Since we know the file name simply needs to be called Pillow, just copy the Pillow text document and paste it in the Miscellaneous folder. Then add your image file and rename it Pillow. And just like that, a new pillow. The wallpaper, floor, and ceiling textures can all be changed using the same method as the bedspread and pillow, but in addition allows for advanced texturing using texture maps, normal, glossiness, roughness, and emissive. You don't have to use the additional texturing, but it does make the room look a lot better overall. Let's start with changing the wallpaper. In the MUVR folder, open Custom, Miscellaneous, and then Examples. Copy the wallpaper text document and paste it in the Miscellaneous folder. Then add your custom image file and make sure it's named Wallpaper. I'm going to change both tiling X and Y to 2 instead of 4. Like I said before, don't be afraid to mess around with the tiling options to see what looks best. Now let's head back to the room and see the changes. The wallpaper looks great and I would probably leave it like this, but let's mess with it a bit. Once again go to the MUVR folder, Custom, and then Miscellaneous folder and here is where advanced texture maps come into play. How about we see what happens when we use emissive. Add the custom image to the miscellaneous folder and name it wallpaper underscore emissive. Let's see what it did to the wallpaper now. Well that definitely looks different. The unique thing about emissive texture is how it changes when the light is on or off. The ceiling and floor work just like the wallpaper with all the advanced texturing. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that if you have both the glossiness and roughness texture maps in the miscellaneous folder for the same thing, the glossiness map will take precedence and the roughness map will be ignored. One last time go to the MUVR folder, custom, miscellaneous folder, and then go into the examples folder where there are already some advanced textures that come with MUVR that I'll be using. I want to change the carpet out for a wood floor and I want glow-in-the-dark stars in the ceiling. For the floor, copy the floor image, the floor document, floor underscore glossiness, and floor underscore normal and paste them in the miscellaneous folder. For the ceiling, go back to the examples folder and copy the ceiling image, the ceiling document, ceiling underscore emissive, ceiling underscore normal, and ceiling underscore roughness, and also paste them in the miscellaneous folder. Now let's see if we did that right. It looks like I have a nice wooden floor and glow-in-the-dark stars in the ceiling that illuminate when the lights turned off. Hopefully after watching this video you can customize your own posters, pillow, bedspread, wallpaper, ceiling, and floor. In my next video, basic tutorial number 3, I'll go over the three types of ways to watch TV shows and movies in your retro gaming room in VR.